though, during game three, Chauncey Billups was called in the game. He got the assignment in Detroit. Seemed like a perfect fit. But uh, he made the headlines by calling out Andre Drummond on multiple occasions for being lazy, not being engaged, not being focused, and um, mentally checking out. And also seeing Chad Ochocinco, a.k.a. Chad Johnson, from the Bengals say it looked like something was bothering Andre Drummond out there, and he wasn't himself. But uh, we back. Motor City Sports Talk, we in the building. Appreciate everybody um, for uh, joining us, man. But, yeah, there's nothing new about Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond is sometimes engaged in the game. Sometimes he plays with edge. But most of the times he plays soft. He lazy. And he ain't been there this season. And now people seeing, you know, a lot of Fairweather fans or, or fans that they haven't paid attention to the Detroit Pistons regular season in a long time, they see, they hear about the 2020 games. They hear about, uh, Drummond looking phenomenal some games. And, you know, you wonder why the Pistons haven't been able to get a better seed or take a next step. You know, and it's because, you know, Andre Drummond hadn't, and nobody on the Pistons had supported uh, Blake Griffin in the, in the first half of the season. A lot of his uh, prime or strength or, or health was, was left out on the court in the first half of the season because Andre Drummond wasn't consistently helping him. And yes, you hear Drummond improved his free throw percentage. Yes, you hear Drummond improved this. He improved that. After the All-Star break, he improved his edge, his toughness, his defense, and just, you know, he came, He was playing with an edge and attitude and with some motivation because he didn't make the All-Star team. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Now that it's time to really, it's people really putting a microscope on the Pistons and they may be the only game on at the time. Now people seeing why the Pistons ain't taking another step. Why Andre Drummond? ain't having an impact because he's lazy. And, and Chauncey Billups, people can be mad all they want to. He told the truth. It's physical evidence. I'll link the article, link in the description, and it goes over the place where Andre Drummond is just sitting there, not engaging, not getting out there hustling. And that's what the Detroit Pistons have been about. When Chauncey played, they were hustlers. You know what I'm saying? They all were scrappy. They was determined. They was engaged. And Andre Drummond, that's the guy you got man in the middle, that's supposed, to, that's supposed to be taking the place of uh, uh, Ben Wallace, and he ain't capable because he ain't play with that heart. He ain't no soldier down there. You know, he ain't going to carry out that mission. And, 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 and at the end of the day, Ben Wallace wasn't a back-to-the-back uh, back back scorer. Um, but you know what? He, he rebounded tough. He played tough. He had a lot of heart. And he was our heart and our soul and the engine that made the Pistons run. Andre Drummond can never equate to that. He don't have a hustle. He don't have a defense. He don't have an edge. He's not mentally strong enough. And 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 you just look a glimpse where Chauncey breaks that film down. Like I said, the article in the description, you just see that he's not giving no effort. They get on the perimeter. They shooting threes on him. They're putting the ball on the court. He's standing in the middle. He's just like, like damn, he's just happy to get a check. You would think he would be engaged at the, you know, quote-unquote, Jennifer Hammond called him out on, on, on Twitter. Oh, I'm going to play with a lot of fire. He ain't showed up this whole series for real at all. Getting in foul trouble. And this is this is who people advocate for to, you know, to make $22, 23000000 million. And it's, people, it's not just Piston fans that are starting to see it now. You know, when you're the only team, when you're only a team playing on national television, not everybody seeing you think Drummond will try to solidify as far as his reputation and show up and show out, but he haven't. You know, and then people get mad at Chauncey for keeping it real. Well, shit, don't listen. You supposed, he supposed to come here and fake the funk and act like this ain't going on? You know? And if Chauncey Billis was able to take over the GM position, first thing he'd probably do is trade the hell out of Andre Drummond. That's the first thing he'd probably do. And everybody know it. It's the reason the Memphis Grizzlies didn't want him. Because he don't have them intangibles, man. He don't play with that heart and that wheel and that, that shit that uh, Ben Wallace had. And with his athletic ability, he should be able to get on the perimeter and guard a lot better than he do. He should be able to stick with slow ass Brook Lopez. You know, Ilya Sovi a little bit more shiftier, but he should be able to stick stick with him a lot. A lot of things with, with Dre is will. You know what I'm saying? Will you do it? Do you have the will to do it? You know? And it's consistency. And he ain't been a consistent player since he got here. He has stretches where you look like, damn, he one of the most dominant rebounders and and put back players, but then again, it's a focus thing. It's a huge focus thing with 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 uh, Andre Drummond because he missing bunnies, he missing putbacks. It ain't like where okay he get what he giving up on the uh, 
what what he giving up on the offensive side of the, of the ball, he making up on defense, or what he giving on the defense side of the ball, he making up on offense. Fuck no. You know, at the end of the day, he lazy on offense, he lazy on defense. People point out he got 20 points, 20 points rebounding, and 20 rebounds. But what does it really equate to? What does it, what does it really translate to? Honestly, his stats ain't more impactful than James Harden, what he doing. It ain't impactful as, as, as Giannis said, what he doing? You know, and we just, we just actually, we just speaking facts. He's not an impactful player, not for $22 million, but that's another video for another day. But Chauncey Billups, I feel, was correct to light into Andre Drummond. And we'll see if Andre Drummond get moved by anything that Chauncey say, what he called Chauncey a hater, but it's true. And, and, and it's always seemed something to be bothering him. He just always seemed mentally weak. And the drop on, 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 and he always seemed soft. And the drop on Blake Griffin for years was that Blake Griffin was mentally weak and soft. But you know what? He changed that. You know, even though he got injured this year, but Blake Griffin has been playing with a lot more tenacity, more physicality. Even if he changed his game, added more finesse, ball handling, jump shot, step back. He's been playing a lot more tough than when Zebo was taking him and, and, and punishing him and putting him six feet deep and under, under the basket. He's really matured and, and turned that corner, but you can't have Mr. Softy. You can't have a Pillsbury Doughboy in the middle of your defense when you don't have an elite team, elite defenders, or elite players around him. And you see Reggie Jackson lighting into him on the sideline. I'm like, damn, even Reggie Jackson tell him, like, shit, you got to do better effort. You would think that's the last mother joker that, that could tell Andre Drummond he need to play harder or you need to be doing this, you doing that. And whatever reason it was, I don't know if it's, like, he doesn't respond well to criticism and Dwayne Casey called him out or, or you know, he got something personally going on in his life. He got a girl or, or female problems or financial problems or whatever it may be. It could be bothering him off the court. But it's clear that Andre Drummond is just not engaged in this series. I don't know what it is. I mean, does he fear Brooke Lopez? He's scared of Ilyasova, Miritich, Giannis. You know, at the end of the day, it's to the point where he getting frustrated and then he just pushing – Pushing players on the ground, elbowing them like this is supposed to be your one of your leaders. And when Blake got out here, this is your leader. This is the guy you supposed to be building this team around. You know? So, you know, people will probably sit up there and try to call Chauncey a hater, but the city the city the city seen it today. Every, nationally everybody's seen it. Which I'll get to later. Everybody's seen it. Everybody is disgusted with Andre Drummond from people I I talk to in the Texas sports groups, to people, uh, regular day people on the streets of Detroit, people that went to the game, people that don't even know shit about the game and just know Andre Drummond is just mentally weak and he's soft and now it's showing back up. It seemed like he played with that edge when he didn't get the all-star bid. He was balling. He was rolling real tough. And here and there, he have, he have a bad game here and there. But then again, for $22 million, probably make $23, $24, $25 million in the next couple of years. Is this is what you this is what you paying for a time wars? Inconsistency? 24, 25 years old. You know, he should have some type of string of some games together. Not being a spot player. But anytime you have Reggie Jackson sitting there, you know, getting on you and telling you what you need to do and yelling at you on the court. And then you got Chauncey Billups who really don't want to come back to Detroit and have to critique Andre Drummond, but he has to critique him because you're playing so bad. Got gotta wake up wake up to it. And a lot of people calling for Andre Drummond to be moved. Is that somewhat of extreme at this point? No. You know? No. Because he's not dominating the interior paint. He, on each side of the ball, he can rebound. But you don't get paid $23, $24 million to rebound. We need some type of intensity. We need a leadership. But, you know, some people going to hate. Some people going to say I'm tripping. Some people say I'm being I'm taking it too far, but wait till I drop that other video. Then you can say your criticism. But shout out to Chauncey Billis for keeping it in the buck. Real recognized real and Chauncey looking real familiar right now. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what y'all thought about Chauncey Billis criticism. If you, if you missed it, hit the source or article link in the description. One of the two I name it. You can watch it right now. But don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, acquire sponsorship, or a video request. Um if you got any requests, video requests, you can hit me up on social media or you can hit me up on, on through the email. All my information in the description. Appreciate it. Continue to share the videos. Let me know what you think about Chauncey's criticism of Andre Drummond. We gone.